hello everyone in this video we are going to learn about ribbon load balancer so what is a ribbon load balancer let's learn it in the real time example suppose we are having different instances of this currency exchange services running on different ports and we have a currency calculation service that is internally calling currency exchange service to get the data from database so at a time if we configure like one instance of this currency calculation service is going to fetch the data from currency exchange service which is configured at port number 8000 in the real time if you have one or two requests that will totally work fine but what if you have a thousand requests at a time your currency exchange service will not be able to take the load and your application will crash so to overcome this we will be using this ribbon balancer feature which will distribute the load between different instances of currency exchange service so if you see here in the code that we wrote in the last video there we use the fusion client and we give the url as localhost 8000 that is the currency exchange service we are calling which is hosted at port number 8000 so let's see what all things we need to change in order to configure the ribbon load balancer so the first things first you need to have a dependency that will be used to enable the ribbon load balancer in your application and the dependency is spring cloud starter netflix ribbon if you are using a higher version of spring which is above 2.0 you will be having this dependency if you are using a lower version of spring you don't need to use this netflix so let's go and add this dependency in our pom.xml of currency calculation service this is the caller application and we are going to add the dependency in here save this it will download the dependencies so as you can see it is downloading all the dependencies here now the next change that we will have to do is we are using this Fusion client in our application and in there we have given this URL first of all we have to disable this URL so that it will not go and hit every time this URL so we will make a copy of this kept it here we will disable this one and we will remove this URL from here the next change that we will do is we will use an annotation called ribbon client at the rate ribbon client and the name will be the application which you want to call the currency exchange service now the next change that we have to do is in the application dot properties of currency calculation service make sure you are using this and you have to provide the name of the calling application that is a currency exchange service application name that is this one dot ribbon dot name of servers equals and we have to provide the urls where our currency exchange service is launched so the urls are localhost 8000 localhost 8000 localhost 8001 these are the two urls where our currency exchange service is hosted you are done with the ribbon load balancer now it's time for us to test the application first of all this both the instances of currency exchange service should be working let's go and check it if it is working so we have to launch up this currency exchange service that is running on port 8000 and 8001 we already have this two instances of this currency exchange service created that is using port 8000 and 8001 if you want to launch any more instance of this currency exchange service you can just go to currency exchange service and click on run and run configuration you want to duplicate whatever is already available this is available we will right click it and duplicate and in the duplicate we suppose if you want to run this on the port 8002 just change the name of this application and go to the arguments in the arguments you have to give the d server dot port equals to 8002 and click on apply you can see the new instance of this application is created we don't want to run we will close this but we want to run the 8000 and 8001 instances let's launch of these two instances 
we will also launch of 8001 instance so our 8000 instance is up let's go and check it so it's giving us the results now let's check up the other instance 8002 sorry 8001 we are getting the result from both the instances of 8001 and 8000 now it's time to launch of our currency calculation service and if everything is working fine then we should be able to see the load getting distributed between server 8000 and 8001 so our currency calculation service is up now let's go and launch up currency calculation service and the port information that will be coming will be displayed here that is a dynamic port configuration that we had done in the currency calculation service so when you hit on refresh we are getting this load balancer does not have available server for client let's try to fix this this seems like we have made some mistake with the configuration let's go back and check it so you can see the name of the server this is not the exact name that we have to give the exact name that we will be using is list of server not the name of servers we will save this application and wait for the application to pick up the changes let's go back to our url and hit refresh and now you can see we are getting the successful response so this time the port that is giving the response is 8000 let's hit refresh button again and now you can see the port that is giving the response is 8001 8000 8001 so now we can conclude that our ribbon load balancer is working properly and it is distributing the load between our two servers that is configured on 8001 and 8000 so in this video we have successfully configured our ribbon load balancer in the next video we will move to the next step thanks for watching